powering up of memory through creative visualization and multi-sense encoding. Listen to this sentence a couple of times to familiarize yourself with it. I'm a shy guy, and I hardly dared to talk to her. Important note before you memorize anything in English, you have to make sure that you know, one, the meaning in your language, and two, the English pronunciation. Neither has to be perfect, but bear in mind that it is pointless to try to memorize anything unless you know, one, what it means, and two, how to say it. Once you know the meaning and you are reasonably confident about your pronunciation, there are a minimum of seven things you need to do. and each one is absolutely essential. These can be preceded in any sequence that makes you feel most comfortable, excluding the final one. or you can do it any other way you wish. These seven essentials are one. Preparation of hollow meme. Two, preparation of audiographic code. Three, encoding the visual sense. Four, encoding the audio sense. Five, encoding the kinesthetic sense. Six, encoding the temporal sense. Seven, reenacting, repeating, and recycling. Essential number one, creating a hollow meme for the entire sentence. Essential number two, creating audio visual triggers for what you designate as keywords, i.e. audiographic codes. Essential number three, encoding from visual to auditory and kinesthetic. Upon seeing and visualizing the images, say the words and mentally create some interaction between the elements. Pay attention to the locations. Essential number four, encoding from auditory to visual and kinesthetic. Upon hearing the words, repeat them visualizing images and mentally creating some interaction between the elements. Pay particular attention to the locations. Essential number five, encoding from kinesthetic to auditory and visual. Initiate some distinct movement and or tactile interaction. Note, in order to neurologically embed the memory, it is essential to mentally create simultaneous sense connections. 
In this video, the animations and initial crutch to assist you in the enactment of your imagination are rather poor quality. Your creative imagination is designed for infinitely better multidimensionality. Essential number six, incorporating the temporal and compacting it into an instant. We borrow a technique from Mozart here. He was reputedly able to visualize an entire musical composition as a painting in a single glance. Essential number seven, after encoding, reenact, repeat, recite in your mind, a consolidation of complex events via a reinstatement or recreation in your brain.